Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars and welcome to another of my Movies You May Have Missed reviews. Uh, I haven't done one of these in a while uh, and today I'm taking a look at the 2004 action thriller Highwaymen. The film is directed by Robert Harmon and it stars Jim Cazivo, Rona Mitra, Frankie Faison and Colm Fayard. Now essentially this is a serial killer in a car film. Uh, there is... Um, Colm Fayard's character, um, Fargo, who drives around in um, a custom-built car and basically murders people on the highways, runs them over, whatever, he gets fixated with them, all this kind of stuff. On one particular day, five years previously, he does this to Jim Cazeville's wife. He runs her over, cold-blooded, and kills her. Jim Cazeville gives chase, he crashes into Fargo, causing him serious injuries, and Jim Cazeville is the one that gets sent to jail for it. He spends three years in prison. Once he comes out of prison, he, he starts tracking him for two years. Um, and he tracks him right to Rona Mitra, who, he, who becomes Fargo's next victim. He targets her, and it is up to Jim Cazeville to try and use her as bait in order to get his revenge on this serial killer in a car. Right, what are my thoughts on Highwaymen? Well, I mean, there's a couple of interesting things about this film. Um, I mean, the film itself, I think, is is a little bit of a hidden gem. It's nothing amazing or outstanding, but I think it's it's got a really smart concept about it. And I've always liked this film. Um, and interestingly, the director, Robert Harmon, is the director that brought us The Hitcher many years previously, in the 80s. And both films have a similar feel and vibe about them, and definitely a, certain, a, a, a similar look as well. Um, so fans of The Hitcher will probably really, really quite enjoy this one, certainly. Um, and also, it's it was almost like the blueprint for Quentin Tarantino's Death Proof many years pre uh, uh, preceding this film. He made Death Proof with Kurt Russell, uh, with a very, very similar idea with Kurt Russell, like a serial killer in a car. Um, so I think in a lot of ways, whether Quentin Tarantino would admit it or not, this film has been influential in a lot of ways and, you know, made by a director that knows how to make these, you know, uh, serial killer road movies, if you like. Um, now, there is nothing outstanding here again about the plot or the script or anything like that. The concept is very, very interesting and it, it gets you interested from the start. You know, you're introduced to Jim Cazeville's character and he, and we, we see how his wife is brutally mowed down by this killer. Um, and then we, it kind of jumps forward and we see Ron Amitra's character crossing paths with this serial killer. And I think what makes this serial killer Fargo memorable is, in a sense, is almost like a cyborg in a car because the crash that he has with Jim Cazeville's character five years previously put him in the hospital um, with some massively serious injuries. I mean, essentially, he's in a wheelchair now, motorized wheelchair. He's got, you know, um, things, adaptations on his arms. He's in like a thing around his neck. He's lost one of his eyes. Uh, and his car matches him. He's only got one headlight that works because he's only got one eye that works. I mean, you know, it, it really he really is the embodiment of take him out of the car and he's nothing. In the car, he is massively dangerous. He's very, very skilled at driving and obviously the car is a killing machine. So Jim Cazeville's character has had to um, train himself, really, to become like an expert driver. And he, his profession previously he was a doctor. But in order to track this guy, because this guy will literally drive to the other end of the country to commit a, a murder... To, to make it harder for, you know, um, police forces to link these crimes sort of thing. Because they don't really see him as crimes. They see him as hit and runs. And then he's doing them out in the middle of nowhere where there's no witnesses, generally speaking. There's no cameras or anything like that. So there's no evidence that he's doing it. He's essentially driving away in the evidence. Um, you've got as well, and the film doesn't really need it. We've got this character, Will Macklin, who plays like a, traffic investigator i.e. is a police officer uh, and he's trying to figure out what's going on he, he, he doesn't have an awful lot to do in the film um it's it's, it's almost like an excuse he, he's almost like he's us if you like he's kind of learning as he's going along he's like the reflective of the audience member and rona mitra 
um, is excellent as Molly as well. Um, she's got a fairly interesting arc in the film in a sense of she's a terrified victim at the beginning um, until she learns to fight back sort of thing. And what actually made me look out for this film again was um, I was watching a program in the UK several months ago. Um, uh, and Rona Mitri, you may or may not know now, has kind of half given up Hollywood pretty much. And she kind of lives out in the middle of nowhere on her own with animals uh, in some... I don't know whether it's South American jungle sort of thing. You know, she basically is at one with nature these days. And I remember watching this program with her uh, being interviewed by this guy in the UK. Um, and I remember thinking, oh, Rona Mitra, she was pretty popular at one time. So I started looking through her filmography and I saw this. And this jumped out at me and I thought, oh, Highwayman, I remember that. Um, so that's what made me kind of research this one and re-watch it again. Um, and yeah, it's one of those films that you kind of watch on a late nights on a, you know, on a, um, a film channel or, you know, late night and on a, a terrestrial TV channel sort of thing. It's one of those films that you kind of used to show, um, and you'd be what you watch it. You're kind of like, yeah, yeah, I enjoyed that film. And then if, several months later, you're like, oh, I can't remember what that film was called. It was really good. It's one of those films that you've got kind of in your catalog or in your brain somewhere that you, but you kind of forgot you saw. Oh, it's also one of those films that probably, which is why I'm saying this is a movie as you may have missed, I don't think enough people have seen this film. Um, and if you actually look at it, it's not got brilliant reviews. And I can understand that. It's, it's kind of one-dimensional. You know, there's nothing special about it. It is basically a serial killer in a car being chased by Jim Cazivo with the woman in distress, Rona Mitra. It doesn't really get any more complex than that, but there are some good stunts in the film there's some good uh, driving sequences in the film and the whole idea of you know a serial killer in a car i think is 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 an interesting one and they and they kind of pull it off quite well here you know they make this guy fargo very very menacing in the car they make the car itself quite menacing um and the whole story of jim Evil trying to track down this serial killer so it's it's one of those films that i think you should Try and give it a watch if you've never seen it. Um, it's not going to change your world or anything, but it's almost like it's one of those films that slipped under everybody's radars back in the day um, and has just kind of been forgotten. Well, blow the dust off this one, guys. Give it a watch. And I'm sure, especially if you're fans of The Hitcher, I think you'll enjoy it. You'll definitely get that vibe from watching this film. And certainly if you're fans of Death Proof, I would say it's definitely worth checking out because this film is almost the blueprint for Death Proof in many, many ways too. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope you found it interesting. I will be back with plenty more reviews and content on the channel very, very soon.